Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve a numerical based on the IPv4 datagram. In this question, they have provided a partial data in a hexadecimal form. In order to solve such question, it is necessary to draw the IPv4 datagram header. IPv4 datagram consists of 20 bytes of fixed header and up to 40 bytes of optional data. Zero to 40 byte. Now let's try to draw the IPv4 header. First field is of 4 bit. Second is also is of 4 bit. Next is of 8 bit. And next is of 16 bit. The first bit is version. Next is header length. Next is type of service. And this one is total length. Now the value has been given in hexadecimal form. So this represents the version. This represents the total length. Sorry, header length. Next, six, 8 bit represents the type of service. So, this is the type of service. Next, 16 bit represents the total length. So, this is the value of total length. Now, they have asked size of datagram, header size, efficiency. This can be solved with the help of the first row. So, let's try to solve. Let's try to find out the header size first. So header size can be obtained through the HLN field. HLN stands for header length. It's a 4-bit field which is represented by 4-byte word. It means the value of header length field should get multiplied with a 4. So the header length value is 5. So we are multiplying it with a 4. We are multiplying with 4 because the header length represents a 4-byte word. Now, so size of header is 20 byte. So next question is size of datagram. So the size of datagram can be obtained from the total length field. So the total length field contains header length as well as the payload length or the data. So total length is given in a hexadecimal value and the value is 0054. Now try to convert it into a binary. So the value of 5 is 0, 1, 0, 1 and the value of 4 is 0, 1, 0, 0. 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64. So 64 plus 16, 80, 80 plus 4 is 84. So the datagram is of 84 byte. There is a question regarding the efficiency of this datagram. So in order to calculate the efficiency of a datagram, we must know the size of payload or the data carried by the packet. So the data length or you can say the payload length can be obtained by subtracting header length from the total length. So the total length of this datagram is 84 and the header length is 20 byte. So the total amount of data carried by this packet is 64 byte. So the efficiency will be the formula for calculating the efficiency is payload length or data length divided by the total length. So 64 divided by 84. That is 0.7619. You can say 76.19 percentage. Now there is a question regarding how many router it can travel. 
so for that we have to draw the remaining part of our datagram here the 16 bit is of identification three bit is of flag and remaining 13 bit represents the fragmentation offset so this represents the identification and this represents the flag as well as fragmentation offset so next row we are having a 16 bit of checksum 8 bit for TTL and 8 bit for protocol TTL stands for time to live it represents the total number of router that packet can travel before being discarded so for TTL we are having the value 20 and for protocol we are having a value 06 now as the value is given in a hexadecimal TTL value is 20 let's try to convert it into a binary first so for binary value of 2 will be 0 0 1 0 and for 0 it will be 1 2 3 4 0 now let's try to convert this into a decimal so it will be 1 2 4 8 16 32 so the value is 32 it means this datagram can travel up to 32 more routers now there is one more question which is regarding a protocol of the payload so the protocol field contains a value 06 again this value is in a hexadecimal so we need to convert it into a decimal so first try to convert it into a binary so the value of 6 is 0 1 1 0 it will be a 6 only now 6 represents the TCP protocol it means this datagram is serving its services to the TCP protocol if the value of protocol is 1 it means we are serving to ICMP 2 for IGMP 6 for TCP 17 for UDP and so on Thank you.